Hello, everyone, and welcome back. We have a quick one for you today. Someone asked what to do when you have a bleeding canal, how to clean it out. I didn't record this one because it's just a boring, you know, pre bowler. It's curious, obvious. Um, pretty obvious that this one needs a root canal, was in a lot of pain, but I cleaned everything out and was unable to get it dry initially. So this is what it looks like. So what you do is take calcium hydroxide, place it into the canals, and then you're gonna use paper points to kind of go up and down and kind of push it all around there. One thing. Do not use Dical. Dical sets up hard. I had this conversation with a great general dentist recently. You do not want to use Dical as a temporary material because it sets up hard. You want to use this, which in my case, this is from Ultra Dent. It's called Ultra Cal, but it is a paste that does not set up. This stuff stays soft and it's very easy to remove. You will have a very bad time if you place Dical inside a tooth like this. Going to have a bad time. <laughs> anyway, back to it. So what you then do is you can see it's kind of just soaking inside there. The assistant then gets your paper points ready. I like to use the medium fine, a little bit thicker here because you're going to be recapitulating up and down like that. And what this is doing, the calcium hydroxide, because it's very basic, it's going to pretty much help coagulate the tissues down inside there almost immediately. Um, and so you can see that bleeding, that excessive bleeding that was starting there has already stopped. I'm going to do it a couple times. This is a type 2 canal system. You can see them coming back. Once you get it all nice and clean, go ahead and rinse it out with water like you would normally just to get it. And you can almost see the brown of the, the, the blood that was inside there has now started to stop pretty much bleeding. And that's, that's the interaction going on between the calcium hydroxide. Use my microsuction and you can see no real drainage there, which is fantastic before it was coming up like crazy with a lot of blood. And then same thing here, a little bit at the end there, which is totally normal. Um, this is where I want to go and check in and make sure that looks nice and dry. That small little bleeding point is totally normal. We're going to do one more just to confirm. So if you're having trouble getting these canals nice and dry, here's a technique. I hope that works out for you. Just included the final there, ended up doing that for everybody. But as always, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop them below. Otherwise, I will talk to you next time.